Oh, shit. Um, do you think you'll get better? Have you ever been to the emergency room? What for? Do you want to answer this? Uh, no. Yeah, me either. I had a gerbil stuck up my butt, and then I had to have emergency retraction from it. I'm lying, but, you know, that scenario is probably someone's going to take that seriously. You know, there is no documented case of that ever happening in the entire world. And my uncle was coming up to me, and he was, like, saying, this is wrong with uh, the homosexual lifestyle is that they do this. And I'm like, no, no, they don't. There has never once been a documented report. It was a joke that was on uh, South Park. Now, I'll tell you something that really does exist that's fucked up is that there's a fetish group out there that crushes animals' heads with high heel shoes. Yeah, that is like the most messed up thing ever. Like, I didn't even know this existed when uh, I, I watched a video a little while ago on YouTube, like a top 10 list thing. And it was like top 10 YouTubers that have been banned. And it was just this like one dude who... Uh, was associated with uh, an external site off of YouTube where he was just crushing rodents' heads and they ended up piecing the two together because he was wearing the same shoes or, like, the environment was the exact same place. And YouTube was like, yeah, get the fuck out of here, motherfucker. Okay, let's see. Would you rather be stuck in a house with someone you hate or be stuck in a house alone? Alone, yeah, I completely agree. Like, that that's just a no-brainer, right? Because then, like... Ugh. Uh, what is one of your favorite words or phrases? Yep. Uh, like, I'll agree with yours on that one. Mine would be some sort of a, a, a obscenity. What word do you... What word do I say all the time that really resonates with you that I say all the time? Uh, smoking a pancake. Oh, yeah, smoking a pancake. It's, that's one thing that I would say when uh, me and Jared were roommates. Uh, like, uh, yeah, I'm trying to quit now, but uh, I'm having a hard time with that. What is the best piece of a advice that you've received best piece of advice get a job get a job <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you're at 45,740 subscribers yeah. did that number go down or yeah uh... shit Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, the analytics. The best piece of advice that I've received is that um, it, it it's uh it it's tied with business. Is that opinions are bad for business, and what that pertains to is uh, like the first time I heard it was from uh, Inherit the Wind which is a movie about uh, the Bertram uh, Bertram Kate's monkey trial. And this was back in the day where this dude who was like in like uh, Kentucky or something like that, who was teaching about uh, the theory of evolution. And he was just saying, it's a theory. It's this one guy's guess piecing together from what he was observing. And that's like the scientific process is that you take logic and then you make associations between the two because you know that, do you know that gravity is just a theory? We have no means to prove gravity on a consistent basis. So we just make logical assumptions and we know gravity exists but we don't have the means to prove that exists. 
But, uh, yeah, and in the movie, there was this uh, lawyer guy ah! who went up to ah! a, uh, <laughs> a, a soda jerk or a dude at a pharmacy. Sorry about the truck going by. Um, and he was, like, saying, so what's your opinion on the case? And the guy uh, behind the counter says, I don't have an opinion. Opinions are bad for business. And the reason for that being is, is that the topic around there is that everyone in that town, they came from all over because this guy was being arrested for trying to teach kids. And uh, this was taking place back in the 19, early 1900s. And, oh man, I almost lost my track of thought. But, yeah, you could be one person who says, uh, something. And people will remember what you say, and then they relate to you accordingly. And if you're trying to sell something to someone, you don't want some kind of bullshit in between you and what, uh, you want to do with those people, like sell to them. So the people will be like, I don't want to buy anything from this guy because he has such and such opinion. Let's let's break it down into a simpler format. My family owns a store. And we want to sell beer to them, right? Mm -hmm. we, we have a liquor license, so we're allowed to do that. <clears throat> so, like, uh, everyone in the town, this is like uh, New York. So... We have uh, an area where Buffalo Bills are very popular in our area. Let's say that uh, my uncle decided to advertise Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins are right there inside of the store. Do you, like, think that there's a chance that somebody will not want to buy from us because we don't like the same sports team that they do. There are some people so petty to do as such. Yeah. And, like, uh, the best safe thing is to either ap uh, appeal to the majority, which would be oh. the Buffalo Bills, oh. and if you go to, oh. like, some other oh. state, they'll oh. appeal to their demographic more accordingly and down in florida they'll be like uh miami dolphins or nascar oh. or uh, larry the cable guy i don't fucking oh. know and here buffalo bills and bill Ingball. i don't know who the, like likes people up here and yeah the the best way is to not offend your uh, demographic unnecessarily. And, mm -hmm. Like nobody really cares about their opinion; they only care about their own. So it's better to keep your mouth shut than, and have an air of question, than open your mouth and remove all doubt. Somebody who's much more smarter than me ended up saying that. Hmm. What are some things that you shouldn't say at a funeral? This can go in so many glorious ways. Uh, she, or they died for a reason? No. You know what? You know what? I can actually see someone making that mistake. Okay, that's like an actual applicable means to do that. Very good answer, Jared. In fact, I think you're going to be beating me on a... Uh, beat me on that one because I don't think I'm going to come up with something as good as that. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Here's one. I like, uh, I loved them as in the past tense, as in you don't love them now. Because like, uh, I, I, I think some people will take offense to that as like you stopped loving them after they die. Like, I, I imagine that the people that we're talking about is someone in the family or somebody that you respect. So you can replace love with like or respect or with respected. 
as in you're not doing that anymore. So I'll, I'll like, simplify it. You pass tense something regarding to describe the person. Hmm. <laughs> now it's just getting really stupid. Um, we've been recording for like uh, almost a little more than an hour. Do you think uh, we should uh, like uh, find a good point to wrap up? Uh, yeah. Let me get my package and. Yeah, that sounds good. Ooh. Well, at least I'm awake now. I mean, like, I was just, like, dragged my feet. There's a little bit of delay on this stream, so uh, I'll let you be the one who gives a vocal indicator when it is. Oh, I see it. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, this has been Agent J. And uh, Jeeb, also known as Gordon. Um, thank you for joining. Uh, if you uh, liked uh, this video, uh, thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't, thumbs down. Uh, let me know why uh, yeah. or what I can do better. Constructive criticism. Uh, if you're confused on either or, uh, put it down in the uh, comments. Below. Yeah. And if you're new to my channel, uh, uh, please uh, subscribe and you'll uh, get uh, notice of uh, new videos coming up or out. And uh, uh, if you want to support my channel, you can. I have a, a support my channel thing on my page. And uh, again, thank you for joining. And have a great day. Bye.